unlike most Jewish schools, our Jewish curriculum, it teaches you to explore beyond the classroom. I mean, based from your sixth grade classes where you have to open a humash and find the source yourself, when the teacher says, where does it say this? You have to see that it's not, they're gonna tell you something, you have to memorize it. It's you doing the work. It's you get out of it as much work as you put into it. And I thought, and that took me beyond the, the classroom. It, it became a thing in sports with the Roar Post, uh, applying for Galinsky Ambassador, which I got, I finally got this year. You know, it's it's that, that the Jewish classes, they weren't a pushover, they, were, they weren't an easy A. They were something that helped you succeed in mathematics, in history specifically, especially when you take a Jewish history class and you have to take sources beyond just the Torah or Jewish text. You have to use Roman documents to support your Jewish text. And then when you apply that to history, it becomes easy. It becomes easier because it's something so simple that you've been doing it for so many years that now it's just, it's effortless. You have your science, your, your electives, your maths, and those are still important. For example, I was talking to Mr. Sorolnik, who's my English teacher, and he was saying how this second semester isn't based on the grade, the AP test, but it's getting us ready for college, getting us ready for any literature class we take in college. We're ready being exposed to all these, the Iliad, the Odyssey, the classics that you know, whatever college you attend, you're gonna learn more about these. And he focuses on that, wanting the Shekhalo kids to be ahead at whatever institution they attend. One common misconception about Shekhala is that the Judaic classes really interfere with your academic success and I find that to be the exact opposite. As examples I gave prior, you have these Jewish classes helping you succeed in your core classes, teaching you skills way beyond the Jewish belief. It's reading texts, analyzing history, why something happened. It's critical thinking that helps you not only in these humanity classes but math, in sciences, why this happens, how this happens, what is the reason, what's the ripple effect. Everything from your Jewish classes, applying it to every other sect of your life beyond the classes. If it's sports, extracurricular, or for me, even applying to college, writing some essays and getting recommendations from these Jewish classes, which aren't interfering with my academic success, but taking me to levels I could never reach without them.